Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Shakia Chanel, also known as Coach Shakia. I'm a coordinator for Asphalt Green's Recess Enhancement Program, also known as REP. At REP, our goal is to make recess safe, active, and fun. Before we get started, let's go over some safety tips. Tip one, make sure you and your students are washing your hands for at least 20 seconds before and after playing any game. Tip two, everyone should be practicing social distancing. So make sure everyone is far apart, at least six feet. Tip three, this one is a little tough, especially for the little ones. Make sure you are not touching your face, especially the students. And tip four, if you have to cough or sneeze, don't do it into your hands. Make sure that you cough or sneeze into your arm. Two thumbs up if you understand and two thumbs up if you're ready to get started. In this video, I'm gonna use the REP model, which stands for Ready, Explain, Play, to teach you about our game, Steal the Bacon. Steal the Bacon is a fun, classic game. We have a different take on this game so that it's more appropriate for social distancing, it's safe, and you need minimal equipment. So let's start with Ready. Now, before we get to play, we wanna make sure that we have everything ready. The first thing you wanna do is map out your play space and designate boundaries. So you're gonna know where the kids are gonna be in the play area and you have to let the students know where they can play and where they shouldn't play. Next, you wanna make sure that you remove anything that might pose a safety risk to your students. You also wanna make sure that you have all the equipment you need for ready for the game. In this game, Steal the Bacon, all you're gonna need is either two cones or two pieces of um, tape on the ground. And lastly, for this game, depending on your space, you wanna make sure that you have all your students already organized. So for Steal the Bacon, I suggest them lining up um, shoulder to shoulder, but again, still six feet apart facing you. That's when you can address them and then split them up into two different teams. Okay, two snaps if you're still with me, two snaps if you're ready. Let's move on to explain. We already got the kids ready. Now we need a, to give the kids a brief explanation on how to play the game. So we're gonna go over the rules of the game. When you're doing this, make sure to use a loud, clear voice and check for understanding. So one of the main things that you always wanna ask the students when they're playing Steal the Bacon is what's your number? Students will forget what number you assign them during the game. Now you should have a all the rules for Steal the Bacon in front of you. So let's go through that. I'm going to explain Steal the Bacon to you as if I were explaining it to students. Okay, third grade, clap once if you hear me. Clap twice if you hear me. Clap three times. Hello, third grade, welcome to recess. I'm Coach Shakia. What's my name? Coach Shakia. Today, we're gonna be playing Steal the Bacon. What's the name of the game? Steal the Bacon. Now, I know we know how to play Steal the Bacon, but we are gonna play a little differently this time. I'm gonna split you up into two teams, all right? If I say one, you go on this side. If I say two, you go on that side. One, two, one, two. Now I'm gonna give you all numbers, okay? Remember your number. One, two, three, four, four. All right, what's your number? Five, good job. What's your number? Six, great. Now, do we see our co those cones on the um, different ends? I want you to point to the red cone and I want you to point to the green cone. All right, team one, that is your cone. Your cone is the red cone. What's your cone? Red. Team two, that is your cone. That's the green cone. What cone is that? Green, awesome. So when I call your number, you have to run to your, your team's cone and tap that cone with your foot and then run back in your spot. Whoever sits down in their spot first gets a point for their, their team. All right, so what do you have to do when I call your number? Good, run to your cone. What do you have to do when you come back? Great, sit down. Now, who at the end of the round, whichever team has the most points wins. Two thumbs up if you understand. Two thumbs up if you're ready to play. And that's how we play a modified version of Steal the Bacon. So after we explain the game, we're gonna play the game. Here are a couple of things you wanna keep in mind when you're playing Steal the Bacon. Students will forget their numbers. So try to remember their numbers and give them a quick reminder throughout the game 
what their numbers are. Also ask them if they know who their opponent is, because if they forget their number, but they do know who they're going against, when that person runs out, then they'll know it's their time to go. Don't call the numbers in order. Uh, switch up the order that you're calling the numbers in because then it's like a surprise when that student's number is called. Also, after a couple rounds and after everyone has gotten a chance to go, switch the numbers so everyone has um, a new opponent that they can go against. Um, also, let's add some extra activity during the game. If you see that they're running and they're handling it fine, make it a little difficult for them and add in hopping on two feet or hopping on one foot just to make the game a little fun and um, more challenging for them. So that's our version of Steal the Bacon. I hope you had fun. We're going to have a fun new game for you to learn tomorrow. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm Shakia Chanel, also known as Coach Shakia. And remember, have fun and be safe.